Right, Connor, you've written the book. Uh, <laughs> How long are you playing for? Um, playing for I've played twelve years at Mayo Seniors. I've probably played football since I was uh, twelve or thirteen. And what's your club? Parnell is my club now in Dublin. Shrewd and Carbo are my my previous club in Shrewd and come to Mayo. And have you had have you had much success over the years? Um, I have plenty. Yeah. Um, a few club titles, a few championships with Mayo. Um, the last couple of years, not so much, if I'm honest. Mm. The earlier years, yeah. yeah. And have you played in a few of the finals and semi finals? And... Yeah, played in a few semis, a few finals. Um, won the semis, obviously, and lost the finals, mm. as you say. Many big appearances, uh, big appearances did you have? Uh, big. Mm. Pro Park play. Um, I suppose a minor All Ireland, two senior All Irelands, and a two All Ireland final. Um, Obviously, all semi finals probably 20 30 times really in Crow Park in the big game. Yeah. Do you think they're going to do it sometime in the near future? Ah, they will, they'll have to. Yeah. I mean, look, if you keep knocking on a door, it can only stand up for so long. Mm. I'd imagine they will, hopefully, sooner rather than later. And are you still involved? Yeah, playing away at my club in Dublin Parnells. Mm. Um, 32 now, so it's uh, a Count- year or two. County level? Um, no, not playing it. Not playing it, not no. Not playing no. it at yeah. the moment. Um, what, what managers did you play under? I played under Pat Holmes was my first one, um, John Mahon second, Mickey Moore in third, John O'Manley fourth, and James Horn was fifth. So you've had them all in the, last, yeah. oh, in the last few years, yeah. 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 Like you've had good years, you've, you've given your fans a great value for money, I think, haven't you? Uh, sometimes. Yeah. Um, well. You know, the majority of times are supposed to be good times at me, I think the fans yeah. were the, the disappointing part. Well, you've been very close to the couple of times, haven't you? Yeah, yeah well, we were there. Mm. I hope there was... those who were on the table, but we were there competing mm. anyways. Then. And uh, what prompted you to write the book? Um, I was just thinking about it for a few years and said we'll try and put out, put over, I suppose, my side of the story, I suppose, over the last 10 or 12 years and put it on the paper and just got it done and we're, we're happy enough with how it turned out in the end. Did it take you long to do it? Uh, seven months. Seven, seven months, months. Uh, yeah. Started work, yeah, once we got the contract signed and mm. away with it then. And how do you write, write a book like this now? Where do you get a, how, do you, can you remember all the events or would you? You're just, you're just doing interviews constantly, mm. three nights a week. Um, you're sitting down with your, your ghostwriter and you're just asking you questions, you're answering them and he's putting it on, on paper and that's it. And did you write actually much yourself? Did I write it yeah, myself? Yeah. No, he did all the interviews. He did, he did, he did yeah, it, yeah. I just did all the interviews. You spoke and just spoke taped and, and, and memorised and just got information from mm. all the managers from the years before and schools and stuff like that. And what's, what's in the future? Um, future. Mm. Well, you're working, you work, you're working. Yeah, you? I run a gym in Dublin in Parnells. Um, I'll be doing that for the next couple of years, play, play another year or two. Um, and then I suppose, I don't know after that. Go and take up golf? No. <laughs> no. Somebody more active, yeah. Okay, best of luck with the book. Thank you very much.